Former Taiwanese President Ma Ying-jeou is planning an 11-day visit to China in early April. The trip will include stops in Guangdong, Shanxi, and Beijing, where a meeting with Chinese leader Xi Jinping may occur. Experts suggest that if the meeting happens, it could serve as an opportunity for Xi to signal his intentions to Taiwan and the United States, while also providing insights into his stance towards the island. Lu Cheng Wang, an associate professor of political science at Sam Houston State University, explained that if the meeting occurs, Xi will likely emphasize Beijing's position on the One China Principle and the significance of the 1992 consensus as the foundation for cross-strait exchanges and dialogues. Wang suggests that Xi's message would highlight the importance of peaceful reunification as Beijing's priority, with negotiations possible for those who accept the One China Principle. He also noted that if President-elect Lai Qingdu refuses to accept the 1992 consensus in his inaugural speech on May 20th, it would hinder dialogue between the two sides. While Ma accepted the 1992 consensus during his presidency, the current president, Tsai Ing-wen, did not, leading to a reduction in tourism and other exchanges from China. Lai, who belongs to the same party as Tsai, is expected to maintain a similar stance. Wang further mentioned that during the meeting, Xi might address recent U.S. concerns about a potential Chinese invasion of Taiwan by 2027. Admiral John Akalino, commander of the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command, had warned that China's military has been instructed to be prepared for such an invasion. Wang believes that a meeting between Ma and Xi would provide an opportunity to gain insights into Beijing's plans regarding Taiwan and reassure the U.S. that immediate action is unlikely. Ma's visit to China precedes the inauguration of President-elect Lai Qingdu on May 20th. Xiao Ning Su, a professor at Oakland University in Michigan, suggested that Lai is expected to uphold Tsai ing framework, seeking closer dialogue and exchanges based on equality and dignity while avoiding conflicts.